Sup yo, welcome to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be talking about the Varchar 2 and nVarchar 2 data types in Oracle. Now over the last five or six videos, I've discussed a whole lot about the char and nchar data types, as well as character sets and encodings. Because of that, I really don't have that much to say. <laughs> Good for you, right? No, but really, I'm not going to be super redundant and repeat everything I've said. I'm going to share with you the key points just to make sure I don't neglect two of the most important data types. But if you want to know the foundation of it all, go back to when I started talking about the char data type. The first thing is the primary difference between the varchar2 data types and the char data types. That difference is that the varchar data types do not pad the data to fit up a certain length. Char data types do. So if you say something like this, every single value in this column is going to take up 10 characters. Even if you only put in seven or eight or nine or one or zero, <laughs> it's going to pad that value to take up 10 characters. And that is a waste of space. Now in other database systems, the way char and varchar data types are stored is different. So the char might be stored one way and varchar might be stored another. For example, in MySQL, Varchar takes up extra space because it has to have an extra byte or two to keep track of how long that data is. Oracle doesn't work that way because the char and the varchar2 column data types are stored exactly the same way. The only difference is the padding. And what that means is you should almost never use the char data type and always focus on the varchar2 data type. And the same goes for nvarchar2. You won't want to use that one rather than nchar. Unless you have an absolutely perfect, beautiful case of why you would want to use char, then you could use it. And in that situation, please leave a comment so I know of a good example. One other difference between the char and the varchar2 data types is the number of bytes it can store. Char is limited to 2,000, whereas varchar is limited to 4,000. So by using varchar2, you automatically allow for double the storage. Once again, this is bytes. So if you have single byte characters, you can store 4,000 of them. But if you're using Unicode, you want to be careful because if you put in, for example, 3,000 two byte characters, Oracle is going to bite your head off and not work. <laughs> By that, I mean it's going to throw an error. Now, 4,000 bytes is definitely more than 2,000. In fact, it's double, but 4,000 is still not a whole lot of bytes. If you need to store more than that, you need to look into the large object data types. Hopefully that is something we can get into in an upcoming video. So that's all I got for this video. I know it was short, I didn't have a whole lot to say, but you know, I don't wanna be super redundant. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click like. If you have any other useful tips or notes about these data types, leave a comment. I'll be sure to look at it and consider it and future videos might say something you had to say. So thanks guys, be sure to click like and subscribe.